The Georgetown Magistrates Court was packed to capacity on Tuesday afternoon when former Finance Minister Dr. Ashni Singh and former Privatization Unit Head Winston Brassington appeared to answer to three charges of misconduct in public office. Both men, who are currently employed overseas, appeared before Chief Magistrate Anne McLennan, who granted them $2 million bail on each of the three joint charges, despite the defense attorney had sought a reduction for these amounts. Singh's attorney Anil Nandalal told the media his client and Brassington are no flight risk and they have no criminal record, nor were they served with a summons to attend court. The magistrate, having satisfied herself that they should be granted bail, then I believe fell into error when she granted bail at a sum beyond the affordability of the accused persons. Bail must always be reasonable and must always be accessible to the accused persons. If you fix a bail that is beyond the financial reach of an accused person, then it is tantamount to no bail. Nevertheless, Nandala said that evaluation of a property as a surety is being done in the meantime, but the bail sum that was set had to be acquired through a manager's check. Following the court proceedings, both men were escorted by police in handcuffs and placed in the prisoner's dock where they waited for a few minutes before being released. Nandalal, a former minister himself, described the act as dehumanizing and one that sought to humiliate two former senior government officials who served the country with distinction. Meanwhile, attorney Stanley Moore, who is representing Brassington, said that his client voluntarily returned to Guyana to answer to the charges so as to allow the course of justice to take place. They've come back so that they could stand their trial, so that their innocence could be vindicated in a court of law, and that the last thing that they have in their minds is absconding. Both men were also represented by a battery of other lawyers, which included Ronald Bert Smith, Mark Waldron, Priya Manikchan, says Gunraj, Marcia Nadir Sharma and Yuslin Gomes. The men are being charged for allegedly selling several plots of land on the east coast of Demerara to National Hardware Guyana Limited for over $598 million, SCADI Business Corporation at a cost of $150 million, and to Multi Cinemas Guyana Inc. at a cost of $185 million. The Special Organized Crime Unit, SOKU, brought the charges against the two former government officials early last month. Singh and Brassington are due to return to court on June 5, 2018. If the prosecution manages to get the case trialed summarily, this could lead to a preliminary inquiry which will determine if they should face trial by high court judge and jury. The maximum penalty for the offensive found guilty is one year's imprisonment. Samuel Suknandan, The Evening News.